Well, here we have a Western Green Mamba. And one thing I recommend to people who are thinking of touching and training themselves and getting trained and how to deal with an animal that could be, that could become aggressive, would be to first use a hook and see... Hey, why is there a bug in here? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. And first see how he reacts. And you see, you know, you take a look, you see, okay, this guy's in blue, he's shedding, we don't want to upset him, but, why is this bug here? Ew. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. But, no, you can't eat it. But, you know, having had some, ex you also got to watch the tongue flicks. He's hungry. But having had some experience with him, you know, I know that sometimes he will react differently to a hand than he will with a hook. So I go farther back and let him move. I'm not moving him, I'm letting him move. Being mindful. Where his head is. He wants to go back. He's sort of pulling down. So, you know, he's just timid, scared. Really aggressive is not the right word. He's just scared is all. So it's my job to make him feel more calm. Every day, no matter what, I work with my guys for at least 20 minutes each. There's just no choice the way I see it. And it, it, it matters. It matters a lot. If you're going to freehandle them, what I consider freehandling, it's a daily training method. And that will reduce your risk of injury tremendously. If you just take them out, you know, just crazily one time with your hands, you're asking to get bit. And if you don't know how to use your hands and you're just using a hook, you're out of your mind because there's going to come a time when they're going to come towards you and you're not going to have any idea what to do. And when that happens, you're going to throw the hook or twitch or flitch or throw the snake or whatever. And that's no way to shoot an animal. It's just incompetence.